What's up guys? My name's Finn. And today we're going to do a budget PC gaming build using the i7-4790 with a GTX 1070. Let's go ahead and get into the build. So when I decided to make this build, I wanted to be as budget friendly as possible and still have great performance where you know you can come in you can play your esports titles games you can play AAA titles it's still completely relevant today you'll be able to play anything that's out there so as i said we have an i7 4790 get there see if you can see it i picked it up off of ebay new ddr3 ram it's a 16 gig kit and I think it's, this is, that's the name, Yong Zen Xing, I think. So that's the RAM that we're going to be using. And it's brand new. It's hard to find, D, uh, find DDR3 RAM at a good price these day that's, days. It's actually good. Then we have our EVGA, Superclock Edition GTX 1070. Another good part about the 1070 is you got eight gigabytes of VRAM. And then we're gonna be putting for, just mainly for the operating system and everything, we have a, an attack 120 gigabyte SSD. We're gonna throw in there and then I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive that I'm gonna throw in also to make it where you know, you'll have extra space for game storage and all that. Um, our cooler we have is just a simple V-True air cooler. Um, nothing special, nothing crazy, but it's going to work perfect for, for the build that we have here. Got a little RGB to it and everything. I think it's going to look pretty nice. And then for our case... We have, it's another budget case, of course. Um, it's called a Cool Man. Um, I'll see if I can figure out exactly where I got it from on eBay. And then we have a 450 watt EVGA power supply. It's just 80 plus white. The case fans we're gonna be using are just a simple budget uh, fan I think I got the set for maybe 14 bucks all right so we'll go ahead and get started get our CPU set up in here pull that back all right and so on your motherboard on the Intel motherboards right here, you have a little white dot. And on the CPU, you have a, a gold triangle. I don't know if you can barely see it, but anyways, you're gonna line that triangle up with the dot. Pretty much only one way they can really go in because they have little notches on the side and everything else too. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's in there. Put that down, good, a bit of pressure. There we go, and that comes off just like that. We'll go ahead and put our RAM in. Make sure those are opened up. It takes a good little bit of pressure. Push it straight down and Lock it in. All right. So now, get our cooler set up. I'm trying to remember how this design works. Oh yeah, it's the simple, pretty simple little design there. Just have to figure out exactly which, which one, this is a, LGA 1150 motherboard so in your directions and everything you'll be able to 
see exactly which uh, which slot that you're supposed to put these in. There we go. Got it. I can kind of push those down into the motherboard. Just like that. And they kind of stick through on the back and they have little ears that catch so they don't come back out. Normally I would use some, some better thermal paste, um, but I'm just gonna use what they sent because our temperatures are gonna be fine with this build. Got the one side on. Get straight on there. These can be a pain to put on sometimes. All right. Got that on. Now we have to put our little plugs in. And that basically just pushes through and locks it in place where it can't come out. I should have done that before I even put the cooler on. There we go. Get that plugged in there. The little tie, put back on. Just kind of try and keep it neat. All right. <clears throat> Got all that lined out. Set that to the side for a moment. Go ahead and get our case ready here. Okay. Let's see where we're going to have to put our standoffs. May not have to move them. Perfect, they all line up from the start. Good deal. Okay, we'll put our IO shield in. Looks like we're good to go. All right, get our little motherboard screws, which are, which are always your, your fine thread screws like that. Now let's see how we want to mount our fans. Okay. Okay, but it looks you can only put two fans in the front of this case. There's nowhere to attach the fan on the top, but there is, you do have, if you probably already noticed, you can put a uh, AIO or cooler or whatever you want to put on there. More fans, there's plenty of room. It's got plenty of ventilation.
Okay. Got our exhaust fan in. Got our two intake fans. I was able to find the other fan header, the actual CPU fan header. Yeah, I was able to find it. It's up here in the very top right there. And then we have the other fan header here. Now we can do our USB and HD audio, route it down. USB and HD audio is done. Now we have our LED power switch and reset switch. And these are ones that can be kind of tricky. They're really small and they're hard to deal with. On your motherboard, you'll have a little diagram that shows you exactly where to plug all these in at. Okay. We got all those routed in there. And with the age of this motherboard, unfortunately, we won't be able to use the USB 3.0. We'll get our power supply ready. With this being a budget power supply, it's non-modular. Get our power supply and set it in. And the case does have pretty good ventilation on the bottom for the power supply also. Okay, we've got our power supply screwed in there. Okay. 
need to get our power. This is our 24 pin. It's our 24 pin. It's gonna go right here on the motherboard. And then on this one, we also have a four pin, which is, that's the PCIe there. Here we go. And here's the CPU power. This one's only a four pin, but this particular power supply, you can also have an eight pin. That's snapped in good. What do we do with our CPU power right here? And it's labeled. Okay, so we have our CPU power in, we have our motherboard power in, our USB, our HD audio, and then we have all our, our power switch, our reset switch, and all that stuff's hooked up to, and ready to go. Okay, so now we can kind of manage all these cables here. Also look and see where we're going to put our SSD. Let's look. There we go. It's got a good little spot. right here. So we'll be able to mount it up just like that. So this is our SATA, our SATA power here. And it's gonna go right here. It'll only go one way. Okay. Now we have our SATA cable. It's like this. And it goes in to the other spot. Once again, it has a little groove in it and it'll only go one way. Here's our SATA plugs on the motherboard here. And there's some here as also, uh, also. Well, we're just gonna go into this one. Once again, it'll only go one way. There, I think it looks good. Perfect. Uh, these are all Molex connectors. We only have one thing that's Molex and that was the there's a LED strip 
that goes along this on the front panel. And so we'll plug that in when we get to that point. But we can take these and just get them back here out of the way. This is the PCIe power, which is gonna be for our graphics card. So now we have a mess, we get to cable manage. So apparently this case can only have one 120 millimeter fan in the front because when I tried to put when I tried to put the face back on it won't go on because the fan is too thick but they've got a spot there for it to mount so so far this case is not not that great the uh, as far as you would want for fans anyway. Okay. Got that taken care of.
There we go. Got our graphics card in. Mm, I think I'll reroute this a different way. The build actually looks really good, I think. A little bit of RGB, not too much. It's a pretty neat line here in the front. Okay guys, we're gonna check out three titles. We're gonna look at God of War, Apex, and Fortnite. I'm gonna do a quick check. We're playing at 1080p, original settings. We'll look at it real quick. There's your original settings. And display, 100% render scale. Okay, this title is pretty CPU intensive, but it's handling it really well. Um, we stay at 60 and above most of the time. There's an occasional dip below 60, but for a game like this, it's not an issue at all. game looks really good with the original settings you can play at high settings your frame rate's going to drop down a little bit we'll look at it real quick and we'll just put it on ultra just to see all right so we're at ultra settings looks really good and we're mid 40s around 50 fps which is still perfectly fine for to play this game could comfortably play this game with those frame rates
we'll change our graphics to high. The difference between high and ultra isn't very much, but playing at high is perfectly playable experience as well. A little bit better than ultra. I would play it like this all day. And it's hard to notice if you, if you, if you don't have your FPS showing on your screen, you may never even notice it. And we'll go back to the original settings real quick. But yeah, I would play it high settings or original settings, either or. And it's perfectly playable. We get some dips below 60 during the action and everything else, but never really noticed. Performs really well. Looks great. All right, we're gonna move on to the next game. Okay guys, here we are in Apex. We're running a mix of medium low settings. And we're going to see how it performs. I haven't really played it yet with this system. I just kind of set, set the, the graphics up. And we'll see how it goes. So far it's looking really good dropping in. And we're looking good. 100, 120. 140 FPS. It's looking really good. 120. It's dropping down a little bit. I never said I was any good at it. So there we have Apex. The average 115, 120 FPS. 
pretty good. I'll take it. All right, we'll move on to Fortnite. All right, guys, here we are in Fortnite. And we have, let's see, we're in performance mode. Epic view distance, high textures. And so far it's looking really good. Somebody's already shooting at me. Where'd it come from? There's another guy over there somewhere. I don't know where he's at.
There we go. There's Fortnite. So all in all, this computer is a great performer. Still completely relevant today. Plays God of War, great. Plays Apex, plays Fortnite. It's a great computer all around. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the video. And I hope I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.